At first, it was a little scared. And the first thing I see in the morning is Gabby's tiny head inside of Milo's mouth. <laughs> I mean, Gabby's a little 20 pound bully breed mix and Milo's a big 60 pound loud mix. <laughs> but they enjoy it. They go paddle boarding together. They go running together and they do everything together. They were like a match made in heaven. But in the beginning, he didn't really want to do much with Gabby. Milo was a stray. He was extremely skittish and very nervous. He didn't like human touch. So I did a lot of positive reinforcement with him. I wanted to show him that he was safe. And then I started socializing Milo with as many dogs as I can. But he was very indifferent. And then the Hurricane Ian happened last year in Florida. So shelters were asking for a lot of fosters. And the next day we picked up Gabby. Oh boy, my lord. Since the first moment, Gabby has been extremely obsessed with my life. She wanted to play with him, bite his tail, bite his paws. Whenever we would do it with Milo, Gabby was watching and observing. But Milo, he's a little iffy about it. So even when she would try to grab his toys, he would also be very indifferent to her. And then she would suffer from something called cherry eye. So she had to get surgery. And Milo went with us at the surgery day. That's when I said, I can't separate these two anymore. He was sitting on his mat and Gabby came in and snuggled herself in his chest area. They would lick each other in the face here and there. And they stayed like that for hours. I guess her soul medicine is being with her dog sibling. <laughs> Gabby showed Milo that it's okay to love the world. She has taught Milo self-confidence. They're like really best friends. 